What's up, Am Insider Nation? Trey Entity back for another post spring practice player breakdown. Today, we're going to be talking about a guy that gets fans excited. Wide receiver number one, looking to be the highest offensive threat on this team, John Mechie the third. Before we get into this video, please hit the like button, guys. Subscribe. You know the drill. We really appreciate the support and keeping Bama Insider as the leader in Alabama Crimson Tide coverage. Guys, if I had to wager, I would say that Bryce Young will probably be the name most talked about coming into this season and really throughout this season. But right behind him, John Mechie will be the focus on offense this season, now heading into his junior year and presumably his final season with the Crimson Tide. The thing I love most about doing these breakdowns, following spring practice just in general, we get a breakdown how players are going to fit into the offense, where they're going to fit in, where they're going to get playing time, kind of what positions they're going to get rotated in and out of. John Mechie is one of the few guys on this team we can definitively say he will be starting every single game at wide receiver, barring any kind of injury or anything else, and he will be wide receiver one throughout the season. He is the final member of the rideout gang. For those of you unfamiliar when I say the rideout gang, well, that's the, the group of wide receivers that has dominated the country for the last four years. It included Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs, Devontae Smith, that class. They decided to bring in John Mechie to the group as well when he came in the following year. And now John Mechie is the final remaining member of the rideout gang. He will look to lead this wide receiver court. His former teammates now playing in the NFL as well. Let's zoom out a little bit though, take you back through John Mechie's history. As a bit of a refresher here before we get into this season, John Mechie was born in Taiwan. He was originally from overseas. He moved to Ghana as a young boy before moving to Canada to do junior high school and then decided to come to the States for high school where he attended St. James School in Maryland before finishing it out in New Jersey. But John Mechie had a lot of hype coming out of high school. He was the number 187 player in the country Unanimous four-star, and he was the 15th ranked wide receiver in the country as well, the number four player in the state of New Jersey. He had 23 offers, but ultimately decided to choose Alabama over Georgia, Buffalo, and Central Michigan. He was recruited by Mike Loxley, the now head coach at Maryland. And guys, you know it just the same as I do. Second John Mechie got to town, he made an impact. He played in all 13 games his freshman season and didn't have as much of an on-field presence as we've now come to expect, but we could see it then. His freshman season, in the first game, he caught his first career pass against Duke, averaged about a catch per game there in the early season, and slowed down in production, yes, but made some plays that really started to turn some heads and kind of get John Mechie onto the scene. Then his sophomore year. This is when John Mechie really made a name for himself this past season, 2020. He was the number three wideout behind Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddle, but once Jalen Waddle went down, John Mechie stepped up into a huge role. Nobody can forget the Florida game. <laughs> the leveling tackle forced fumble after the interception he caused in that game and his overall impact throughout the season. I mean, this dude was the second most important wide receiver on the team, no doubt about it, and freed up some space for Devontae Smith a lot of the time because he was just that much of a threat. You look at the numbers this past season, he had twice as many catches and receiving yards as the next closest player that will be returning in 2021. That was Slade Bolden. And without the injury to Jalen Waddle, that number probably looks even more ridiculous in John Mechie's favor. Let's take a look at the wide receiving room from last year. Comparing it to the wide receiving room in 2021, I mean, wow, guys, it, it is a drop off. There's no doubt about it. But that's not to say this group is going to be just as talented. John Mechie is going to lead this group. The two receiver, Javon Baker, we've talked about this guy so much on our site. In the Alabama football realm in general, this dude is really coming onto the scene now. He's going to be wide receiver number two, look to make a big impact this year. Behind him, you look at Slade Bolden, a guy that's a veteran that has worked his way up on this team. He'll be looking to make more of an impact this year, but he's going to have some competition. Xavier Williams is going to be listed behind him at number four, another youngster that is really looking for an opportunity to make an impact. And then guys, there's a wealth of freshman wide receiver talent coming in, including a guy like Ajay Hall, who we saw go crazy in that A-Day game. And not to mention, guys, you look at the Treshawn Holdens, the Ajay Halls, everybody else in this freshman class, Alabama just got a massive transfer in Jamison Williams coming from Ohio State to join this receiving core as well. I didn't put him on this sheet because we don't know exactly the kind of impact he's going to make yet. Being the transfer that he is, being a speedster, a deep ball threat, he will get a lot of playing time on this team. But all of that factored in, John Mechie will be the leader of this group and will have some really solid wide receivers behind him. 
I like to think about it like this, guys. We've had a different receiver come onto the scene and really take the nation by storm each year. In 2018, it was Jerry Judy. His abilities that season were unmatched, and he was he won the Blitnikoff and was the best receiver in America. In 2019, it was Henry Ruggs. We saw him record the fastest speed in all of college football history at South Carolina that year, and really an overall season that landed him in the first round of the NFL draft. In 2020, guys, there's absolutely no secret. It was your Heisman winner. It was Devontae Smith. Alabama has never had a receiver have a season like this, and they may never have another receiver have a season like this. But in 2021, it has all been led up for John Mechie to continue this run of unbelievable seasons for Alabama wide receiver. Now, if we talk about John Mechie in relation to the rest of America right now, he has to rank in the top three. You probably put Chris Olave above him, maybe in the one slot, potentially George Pickens at Georgia in the number two slot, but it is very debatable. And John Mechie is certainly a top three wide receiver. You look around the rest of the SEC, you gotta talk about Traylon Burks at Arkansas. He's gonna be their wide receiver one, one of the top receivers in the conference. Go from there to LSU and you have to talk about Kayshawn Boutte. He's gonna be their leading wide receiver looking to Add to a core that is coming back and, and getting a lot better now. And then you talk about Chris Olave at Ohio State. <clears throat> and then you talk about George Pickens at Georgia. He will be their top wide receiver and probably the top wide receiver targets wise and yardage wise in the SEC. But John Mechie is going to give him a run for his money. Like I said, guys, this is probably John Mechie's final season at Alabama. He will look to go to the NFL after this year. Start making the big bucks. Maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll take some advice from Devontae Smith and come back for his senior year. I don't see that happening, though. So let's talk about the scouting report and what these NFL teams are looking at, what other college teams are looking at trying to guard against him. The first thing I want to highlight, his tremendous foot speed. John Mechie is so fast. This not only makes him a threat at the line, but a deep ball threat as well. He can create space for himself and have no trouble getting open for that long touchdown throw. The second thing, his flexible ankles. This sounds a little bit weird, flexible ankles, but what I mean by that, when John Mechie gets out in space, he is so good at cutting and changing his direction while maintaining the speed. His flexible ankles allow him to, to change direction like that without losing any of the speed. The third thing on there is his physicality and the way that he's not afraid to use it. We saw it in that Florida game as a prime example. John Mechie can, can lay the hits if he has to and is a very physical wide receiver when he's going up for 50-50 balls trying to make a catch. The fourth thing, he's an excellent perimeter blocker. In college, this means a good deal. In the NFL, it means even more. John Mechie is not only a great receiver, but he's a great blocker, just a great all-around football player. His blocking abilities are just the icing on the cake for such a well-rounded power five wide receiver. So how Bama look to use him this year? Well, they're going to use him early and often. Like I said, John Mechie is going to be wide receiver number one. There's no doubt about that. I assume he'll be receiving the most targets this year and will probably have the most receiving yards when it's all said and done, along with the most touchdowns as well. But it's not just going to be the John Mechie show. We just talked about it, guys. There is depth behind him. There is a transfer in Jamison Williams coming in to take some of that workload off. And who knows what we have in these freshmen coming to join the program now a wide receiver as well. John Mechie will look to lead this offense in 2021. The anticipation has been building up and fans are ready to see John Mechie become the next great wide receiver at Alabama. Until next time, guys, please subscribe to the YouTube page. Check out our website. So many great articles out right now from guys like staff writer Tony Sukalis covering this team and covering stories breaking every single day on BamaInsider.com. My name is Trey Yannity. For BamaInsider.com, this has been a post-spring practice player breakdown of wide receiver John Mechie.